this is the class of this class that we are using and this is the product image is an object from this object we are displaying image uh, so this is the image is coming but uh, name is not coming product name and features are not coming from this object so let's see Generally, this is a wrapper class. Image it has to come. Image is an object here, which is a product image object, which is a custom object. In this, we are pulling for the product. Product is a parent, and product dot name means a parent of name and parent of features. So it has to come here. to come like this okay so uh, I will check the permissions first I will go to sites so I go to the site and here I can see public access settings which will open a profile of the uh, site so here uh, first of all let us see object permissions so i'll see custom object is available here online products and then customer and then product images let's give a permissions for this object as well and then so first object level permission check yes, so product image and object permission level check. So next we will try to see um, we have a fields but we need to check whether that that fields are accessible using the profile or not so we will see the field level permission here custom level field level security custom object sorry custom field level uh, security so this is our object let's verify all the fields are having access or not let's click on edit so these are already having access uh, variability stick so these are edit access not, not not there for these fields because these are some standard fields created by and product name uh, product image name and then lookup field these are the uh, standard fields which we cannot modify let's say created by user field we cannot modify so edit access is not no need to worry about this so what are the fields that we create so we'll check whether having access or not. So, and we will check this online product also. Here also full access is there. Now let's verify. So earlier there is no permission for the object, so it was not coming. Means we are accessing the fields which are inside the object, right? So object local no, 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 fields work in the but object can access like the field can access the other matter. So profile no permission a channel, the property kada values to display for that. So I'm using just a simple uh, a kind of a table. If we, we don't need a table, we can use a RP data table or whatever. So for now we will go with like this only. So otherwise we can change the lookup field also. Instead of displaying this name not here, we can display image and then next to that name and then 
uh, and that is uh, we can display the uh, this features also like that also we can display it's just a uh, inside of the column we can manage the things so but let us see how to display how we are displaying this it's just a page block table columns okay so for now we will keep only these three images now what is our uh, i mean we can enrich this more uh, you can feel this more uh, good better but for now we will just keep like this we will see next class or some other time when we are free now i'm just displaying one product and then features and then image images more images also we can put otherwise one image and click on this more images we can show now the thing is we need to see how to uh, do an action on this image or how to do an action on this name or in these features we have seen already if we click on a button to display the data okay so the button click just the action choose on that is easy just click on that button we are getting the data but now this is a kind of uh, one more action we need to write like suppose i wanted to click on this image and then i wanted to redirect to another page in go page ke dane there and go here then something display cheyalante deenke em cheyalante direct ga ikkada action ani cheppesi raayali idu oka column ikku image anedi ikkada display chestunnam image anedi oka column ee column ki manam action ani cheppesi raayali ikkada action equals to ani cheppesi pettaru okay then requirement mark cheyali chestaranta oka image undi ikkada image ni click chesthe inko page lo open ayi multiple images raavali లేదంటే ఈ ఫీచర్స్ అనేవి మోర్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఫీచర్స్ అనేవి డిస్ప్లే చేయాలి ఫుల్ మనం జనరల్ గా డీటెయిల్స్ మోర్ డీటెయిల్స్ చూస్తాం కదా అలాంటి డీటెయిల్స్ కి వెళ్ళాలి బై అనే ఆప్షన్ రావాలి ఓకే యాడ్ టు పార్ట్ అనే ఆప్షన్ రావాలి అంటే ఇప్పుడు దాన్ని క్లిక్ చేసినప్పుడు ఒక యాక్షన్ జరగాలి బటన్ కి అయితే డైరెక్ట్ గా మనము కమాండ్ బటన్ కి అయితే ఒక కమాండ్ బటన్ పెట్టాము అనుకోండి బటన్ వస్తుంది కానీ మనకి ఇమేజ్ అనేది రావు ఇమేజ్ కూడా వస్తుంది దాని పక్కన బటన్ పెట్టచ్చు కావాలంటే బట్ దే విల్ నాట్ సే దట్ వి డోంట్ నీడ్ ఎనీ బటన్ this is not a good look and feel i want to do a action on click of this one on click of this anything problem why and then you know there are ajax functions are available so last time we just uh, just uh, there are one ajax functions these ajax functions will give you a actions anytime you click on uh, not a button but anything you click it can be an image it can be a name it can be a output text or input text anything okay it will give you a action okay now let's see this is a image or this is a column enter this enter thing there are three columns if you click on any of this column you want it to go to another page so what you can do you can write in this column inside of this column you can write a text action support so here i can write action support okay and then event i can write there are multiple attributes for this event and click i can write okay so i can click on this column now it will give you an action now let's just simply write like this see now if i click on you see render rendering it is rendering it you see in the top it is rendering that means some action is going on you see here if i click anything it is not happening because it doesn't have anything just a column here we have written a action function if i put the same action function in this column also i will get a same kind of things see if i write here inside for this also we will we will get a action so if i click here i'll 
देखते हैं so far now see here also we are getting the action so this is just a text on click of this we are getting some action here also i am getting some and render is going on we have not mentioned that what action we need to do but there is something is going on okay but you see this doesn't have anything it's just a column so we are just displaying the text so generally if you wanted to do such things you need a command button you need a command link okay there should be a command button or command link but in this scenario without writing any command button without writing a specific action means uh, if you don't have any command buttons command link still you can do the action such things are called as a action uh, ajax functions in the salesforce result codes page there are few ajax functions are available so let us write uh, one by one so there are five actions available so one is action okay. This is a file thing that will give you a Ajax function. This Ajax means here is a kind of a dynamic actions that can be provided on any text or any any button or any on click on change. All these things are Ajax function things. Or we can say a client side actions can be called as a client side means a front end level if you wanted to do any actions. So it comes under the action. There are five Ajax functions. So just now we are going to do action support. Okay. What is action support means? It will provide you an action. I uh, will write here action support. It will provide an action on any uh, browser event. Such as on click. On change, on mouse over, on mouse out. So these are the DOM events. Means if any time you click, any time on change of something, value on on mouse over, on mouse out, on toggle, all these are the events. Are a a browser events and browser actions okay if you click what to do if you change what to do if you on mouse over means if you just mouse over on that just mouse over on that you wanted to go to some page or you wanted to show some part okay so these are the events actually browser level events if without clicking on that suppose on click also possible like if suppose i'm doing on click i'm just clicking it okay you want to do some action just mouse over, mouse or mouse, mouse over just the chandam fine. Then the mouse a bit by this the chandam. Some action jaragadi and tell that something input even enter yes. Enter just is just out, outside button and some data and then automatically you don't need to click some button or something. So allant actions chayali and tell my model is the action support and a model. Action support a kadar water monte 
within a specific element suppose a button undi button ki etlano on click vastadu but akka try chesal vastadu action ani cheppes vastadu button ga kuda some column undi column ni click chesina appudu try ayali ante first akada on click ane jaraga on click ani jarigina appudu em jaragali ante oka action jaragali ante ikkada action ante just action okay so generally this action is by default is coming with the buttons and things right so such kind of actions you सपोज माउस आउट का वचो तरवा तो पेसी ऑन चेंज का वचो तो सम कितनी स्ट्रीम में कौन कंट्रेस चेंज है सम स्टेट चेंज है सम कंट्रेस चेंज है या सम वाली के लिए आपका मेंटेन कर रहा है लेकिन माउस में आप इवेंट पर क्लिक करते हैं इवेंट एक्शन सपोर्ट करते हैं इवेंट पर क्लिक करते हैं माउस पर आपको ना ऑन चेंज में लेते हैं
still saving so let's wait so some error Okay, so come on, let me should be inside the form. So, if I go here now, so if I just click on this image. So, let's refresh. Okay, so now what is the error now? So we have a page, we have an action, but still authorization required is same. Means the new page that we have created doesn't have access by the site. So how can we give you a provide a act, uh, access or a permission that's go to site as generally we do to go to sites? So here uh, already I have opened a profile type, so just cancel this one and go to uh, 
automatic profile. So in this profile, just like an uh, object permission we are providing and three level permissions we are providing, there is a enable visual force space access also. So enable visual force space access. Just click on this. You can check here whether it is added, available, and enable visual force spaces or not. Now it is available in the in the list of this visual force, but it is not enabled. Okay, just enable this one, this access, so that site users can able to access this page so it is redirecting to this page but doesn't have a permission so request this so these buttons you can see okay so now again i will just go here i'll just click on this anywhere here also if we click it will go here or if we go also it will come now if suppose i wanted to uh, cancel i wanted to go back okay so i can I uh, write the same kind of page reference again. So I from one page to another page I have redirected. I have in the second page. From this page I wanted to go back. When I click on cancel. So the same thing we can write in this page. In this page. Page reference book method right check the directly button somewhat and then access support transfers to the action starts from the So why is not giving any other? So generally cancel. It is not having any control or right. It should give a uh, throw an error. Generally. So command button keep action and error as well, but the action which is in the class M the controller and the general error here is the one suppose it draws not so many error. Division four space on the but redirection and less than the it has to go like this unknown method and it is for all anyway we will write here purchase I wanted to go back to the previous page. So that's why I want to go back to the previous page. So it doesn't need to be a cancel because you can just buy and this is a Now I just read 
press this when I click on cancel it will go back again and when I click on here it will go to the previous page So like this, what we can do, we can, uh, first of all, I just wanted to tell you action support, what is action support here, okay, so in this plain page, it is not an app button, but this is a plain page or plain image, if you wanted to do some action, whenever you, uh, in, whenever you click on cancel, or whenever you just click on image, or, um, Yeah, whenever you click on a text, it is just uh, just a text, it's not a button, right? So you understand what is the action support now? It will give you away some action on click of something. Now, let's say I wanted to do a uh, same action support. Now on click we are doing, we, we, are, we are going to do now on change. So I will give a pick list. What I will do there, I will just mention uh, uh, shop by a category. I will mention mobiles and I will mention the TV. I will mention some books and all. Okay, so somebody uh, click here. Okay, somebody click on uh, books. It has to show your books. Somebody clicks on a mobile. It has to show your mobile. Okay, so for that, what I am going to do now, I am going to introduce uh, some pick list here. Okay, in the top of the page, I am going to do a pick list. So today I'm just explaining action support. With action support, on change, on click, any browser, we can do the actions. Just like a command button, we can do actions. So for that, I'll go to the shopping page. The shopping page. The top, here in the form, what I'll do, I'll write. Okay, actually we don't have a uh, pick list here okay we don't have a direct pick list okay we have just a input uh, text input type okay let me uh, select just input like that we will see okay, we have actually text List and inside that index select options here value equals to value. What I'm trying to do now is just trying to display a big list in the user input space. Let's see. Select list uh, value equals to from the element select value.
Okay. So I'll take now uh, a reference from the visual post page how to display um, epic list. Okay, so there is a component reference, right? From that, I can verify how to display. I know the tag, but uh, so this is select list and select option. So let's go here. So this is a list of components gentlemen where we can verify if suppose we don't know what is the attribute we need to use or we don't know what is the syntax we can use here. So I'm going to use now Apex select list. Select list and select options are the these are the two uh, elements can be used to display um, epic list in the visual code space. So generally uh, we can display a command button by using a command button uh, tag. We can use a input text to just to display a box. Okay, just like that. Select list and select options are the two elements that we can use in order to display uh, a particular uh, uh, epic list. So let's go here. Select list and select options. Actually, items I wanted to use here. Items can be like this actually. Get items. Yeah. Get items. Actually, yes. I need. See, two ways we can do. One is get the values dynamically from the Apex class like this. Okay. Otherwise, uh, we have select this one is select list, right? So select options. I can select instead of option. So both examples we have to can just elaborate as you can. Yeah. So this way also I can use by using select option, item value and item label. Item value and item label I can use here. This is a one of one example. Means select list we can use inside that select option we can use. If I use the select options then the value uh, will be expecting this is select option value should expect from the items this item is a one variable in the apex class which is here defined here okay there are two variations property apex class means your values which call and then front end use chairs and tag which is select options okay but then front then back end launch up to direct and front end hardcore chair has some values not this is for values in my and put it up in each agent so that options but the option and a value this coach in particular the option value this one there to what i need to do here is i can use like this i can enter the values here okay same values i can use here I can use here uh, goods. So this I'm entering manually. Okay. So instead of that, if you have any already having a uh, same kind of category, suppose monkey product and object here, um, it already list in a pick list already values in the list. And the category is a bunch of pick list already in my you don't need to write again. You just need to get it dynamically. Along the chair and today, I'm doing class work for you. I think of example work for you, but let's see for now. I will do this. Okay. So, here, what I will do, um, first I will write um, product work. See, we value on the ranges of the Option at the select chess for the world, mobile launch, TD launch, groups launch, option at the select chess for the world. Option of value within the store in the Apex class one. Okay, then every now on changes to the value to each coach. What is the value that I have selected? So let's first see the output and then we will just have a better idea. So, what is the output? What is the output? Is just a for extra category. Welcome here. See. 
this is just a quick list that we are using in the Visual Codes page. See, in the customer than Katekuda, in cook easy method will be arranged under in product and object locally, product object like yes, and then a field create just a product category and the person a product and mobile kit person, a TV kit person, and the person. Then in the directory creates just a picture, other than the picture is under it. So that is my head under it. Anyway, we need the field definitely we are going to use that, but just differentiate that uh, context. So, I have products, right? What are my products? So, these are all the moving product features and product images. Now, I am going to use the one for a big list field. So, here, product category. So, if you have a field, you can see what is your category. If you create a product, you can see what is your category of the products. So, BS analysis, food mechanical, and product for the product to create just some. Products you can see. You can see what the product will create just some. My product is. I can just uh, download some image and then put the same image out there. So let's say this one I want to save the image. Save image, desktop. Okay, same image I will put here. And then description also I will just copy paste. And storing the images over there. Okay, if we in the current amount, we can check them on the PC. So, if you have a good funny category, let's get to know. Save as well. So, if you have a good one, you can see the classic look in the first image and the field delete just to delete that. Also, if you have a bottom of the image, you can see the image. Just we have tried whether it is going to work or not. So, we are not using that field. So, now we will upload the image also. Uh, so for that we are going to in a classic environment and then we are using a documents so documents and a uh, lighting environment no? uh, documents and a folder and a okay. tab and a tab and a tab and a documents and a tab and a tab and okay documents and a tab And then once you say you will get an ID, this ID where you want it to give. So this one product images block, stage and mono. Put the record. In this record, we what we are doing is selecting the product. Our product is this one, legend of Sukhandu. So this is the one of the object where it is storing the product and then image of the ID, the value of the image, okay? So now what I am going to do, just 
just in order to uh, avoid uh, this writing this one what i can do another way of like displaying the pick list i'm going to do now with the this product pick list this is a product pick list right this is a product pick list so in the chapter it's a kind of a input now i'm going to use so here one variable i will use a public um, this object and product so go here So the name just some this is the one variable which is an instantiation variable for now. So what it will give you it is a name instantiation variable. In this uh, you can insert the data actually. Uh, we can uh, reference the name features and then product category whatever the fields in this object you have in this object let's say the name is then features and then image and image is not actually available now image and then the product category all these fields you can reference from the class to a page for now by whenever you instantiate like this or whenever you query or whenever you instantiate you can use this variable here so what i can do is start writing all these four lines So if you don't go to pick list or study same pick list like that, go to pick list right now. some error let's see is so what we are doing now this is actually select list here also we can write action function or action support but I'm, instead of doing this, I'm, I'm saying alternatively we can use uh, this one means input field we can use by using input field we can display the pick list. Okay, so now let's see. I'll give you first here. So it will come like this. Okay, it will come like this. So why it is not coming? Just same 
this is a just a permission issue. Um, why? Because it is coming in, say, it's an external website. So each and everything you create, it can be a page, it can be a class, or it can be a field. Now, just now we created a field, uh, right? So let's go to site. In this site, you have a profile. For this profile, you have an object. Key level security, custom uh, custom key level security, and then we have created in this object. Click on edit. So this is a field. Product category is a field. We don't have access because uh, that is a field that just now we created. Now you refresh here, so we can see. Okay. So this is a another way of displaying a pick list, but you see that we uh, no need to write like this. But this is another way. But this is a, uh, means we need to use a input field here. We what we are doing here, we are instantiating the object. From that object, we are using a one field, which is a product category, which is already available in the system. We can just use that. Otherwise, we can write like this also but this is a kind of a hard coding so suppose i'm writing just tvs instead of like semicolon uh, in the first two case instead of books i may write like this there may be spelling mistakes instead of that get the values from directly from the report so that uh, our object so that it is easy but i will just keep in this one and then comment so that you can just record what i'm going to use the same okay both of the same i will have this and then the code right at the last time i will send the same code again if you want you can practice with this one so i'm going to use this one now okay so in this what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put a action so what i wanted to do now is when i change the mobile i wanted to see only the mobile related pictures and mobile related images here Okay, when I change a home data, the only home data should come. Okay, like this, I am going to filter now. Okay, for this request, I am going to use a action support. What it will do? It will provide you an action. Okay, it will have to manage some generic pictures action generator. It will all change when I change mobile changes the data and it changeable. Home data changes the changeable. So, this is the way we can use a on change event. So directly you cannot write an action here. Suppose there is a change as you are asking the regular intent, you don't have a button here. Button right now is just action the recovery. Action directly or directly late for the time and user and data. Action uh support and later action. So I'm going to add here. So action support at the end of the like a field in the button open trial. Column at a column like a field at a field in the open trial and not a field in the open trial. I'm just simple simplifying the code. Okay. Now let's see whether we are getting what. See, I'm just to get a uh, page. Uh, this one product category. Generally, let's see actions. Good. Some action just it is rendering. You see, whenever I change, it is just 
refreshing the page. That means some action is going on, but we have not written any action, just a method we have written. So in this method, okay, we have written a few changes. We method to any changes. What is the change value? So mobile app like for the main changes. What is the category? Any text code of first one. Down to the main change document. We have query changes. We have ten records man code. Five records man. We have mobile suggests four man code. Four records man. TV another click changes. We have mobile related records. Matter me da wale. At the main changes man te query changes man object me da product object me da. Select ID features image from. Okay. From this, uh, from this uh, object, okay, where category is mobiles. Then just only mobile related uh, images or something for mobile now. So, so first to do that, first I need to go here in this button. I need to change the what is the value that is changing, okay? So from there I will get this changes. So the same value is going to be there. So the same is going to be there. We have a variable. First of all, how it is coming? This is coming by using input field. Input field loan check in just on the value loan in just on the value loan in just on the value loan in just on the value check in just on the mobile, TV, home, data, so the object loan in just on the value 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 loan in just so now just we need to check this product object the product category. So we will check, we will store in we no need to store also, just we can type here. Okay, uh is a variable. Is a variable here, product object dot the name of the field that we are using. So then we can get the value select chess for the front end law. अभी ये ऑब्जेक्ट लो ऑलरेडी मैंने इंस्टैंशियल चेस में लेते हैं इंस्टैंशियल चेस में अब ये में तो फ्रेंड एंड में सेलेक्ट चेस कॉल्ड है अभी मंदी बैक एंड लेके फॉर्म होता है यानी कि गेट सेट एंड लेके लेते हैं कि एनी टाइम यू इंस्टैंशियल और एनी टाइम यू ग्रेट equals to Number thirty two, the next number. First point, one is number. 
ఎప్పుడైతే వాల్యూ సెలెక్ట్ చేసుకుంటామో అప్పుడు ఫస్ట్ ఇమేజ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఇమేజ్ అనేది ఒక ఆబ్జెక్ట్ దాంట్లో చైల్డ్ ఉంది పేరెంట్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఇమేజ్ అనేది ప్రోడక్ట్ ఇమేజ్ ఇమేజ్ చేసి ప్రోడక్ట్ డైరెక్ట్గా డిస్ప్లే చేయాలంటే ప్రోడక్ట్ ఇమేజ్ అనేది ఒక So, uh, before this, uh, let us go to the all the products. Then we, we need to fill the category. So, category can be extremely okay, fine. Then, in this, we need to do something. So now we have a data with the category also. And, uh, I will go here. Edit the field. Product category. Save this. So we know what is the product and what is the category here. So, in the site also, somebody changes, okay, so somebody changes, let them go to site TV, so, site select, this will come, okay, so site select, electronic, nothing will come, okay, mobile, mobile also nothing there, right, mobile is one is here, మొబైల్ ఉంది ఇక్కడ అంటే ఇక్కడ అంటే ప్రోడక్ట్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ లో మొబైల్ ఉంది బట్ ఇమేజ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ లో లేదు ఇమేజ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఇమేజ్ అనే దాంట్లో ఇక్కడ వచ్చేసి లేదు అనమాట మీన్స్ సో హియర్ Uh, documents we have not uploaded for the mobile you, you are getting i think it's very confusing so we are doing now i think support what we are doing launching of this one we want 
specify the action. Okay, and then it will give you a, a particular data. Okay. But generally, this kind of thing you cannot directly write in the command button because it is not a button, it is something, a tick list, something, a, a put, okay, like this. Okay, so this kind of things you cannot write actions directly. So we are using action support which will provide you the event. So when we wanted to fire this one, on changer, on clicker, mouse team, mouse out chaser, star player, all these things, so the action and the event and the story, plus action also it will give you. Action means a method, what to do, and the best also and all But I know the wrapper class, instead of wrapper, if the wrapper class is not on the character, you can do it on the internal class. So tomorrow, you know, what are the things that you can do with the parents, and the body is on.